hi! The results of this massage are so good. I'm happy to be sharing it with you. Hopefully, many of you will benefit from it. Before I move to the massage itself, I'll show you quickly my before and after pictures of my legs. And while you see them, I'll let you guess how many days I've been performing the massage on my legs to achieve these results. I was doing the massage for seven days. That's right, just seven days. Every evening I was doing a full massage and in the morning while applying a moisturizer, I was just doing a mini version of it. Let me show you the massage then. I'm just taking a few generous pumps of olive oil and oil my legs. The lymphatic vessel in our legs run from approximately here along the bone and then here on the inner side of the thigh to join the lymphatic nodes that are located here. This is very high level of information, <laughs> but that's all we need to make a, a lymphatic drainage leg massage. So what we're going to be doing is to move all the lymphatic tissues from all over our legs towards the vessel and then when, while it's all there, we're going to push it all upwards all the way to the lymph nodes. We're going to start with the ankle, that's the problematic area for many people. With just our fingers, we are going to do circles around the bone, the ankle bone, on both sides, just to move these lymphatic tissues around that bone. We are repeating it 10 times. So let's say that was 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's moved, and now we're just pushing a few times all the way up along the bone. Then I'm taking thumbs and I'm just pushing again from the ankle area all the way up. We can also start from a little bit lower on our feet from here, all the way where we see the excessive amount of lymphatic tissues. We do it fairly strongly. While we move these lymphatic tissues from the ankle, we can just start pushing them upwards. Now we'll do the zigzag motion like this uh, from underneath our leg and we are scooping almost the lymphatic tissues all the way towards that lymphatic vessel that's here on the bone. So we're starting from the furthest part towards the knee. And we do it like three, four times. Then we're doing the same on the uh, top side. So again, zigzag motion, pushing all the way to the vessel here. Once we do it a few times, we are now with a very strong motion, pushing all of it towards the knee. Now we are taking our hand, we are grabbing our ankle from the bottom and we are doing the circular motions upwards towards the knee. We repeat it four or five times. When I do this motion I make sure that my thumb is quite strong on the leg so everything on that side of the leg is moved. Now, using the same hand, we are uh, touching on the front side and we are repeating the same motion, but from the front all the way towards the knee. We repeat it again four or five times. And now we are pushing everything with both of our hands. We can do this motion as well. And we repeat it a few times. The zigzag motion again. We can go back to this bit again if we see uh, we have a quite swollen ankles. And we do it all the way again. Just to finish off, we are pushing all that we pushed to the vessel all the way up to, uh, towards the knee. Now we have to deal with our thigh. The idea is very similar as with this part of the leg. We have to push all the lymphatic tissues from all our uh, thigh towards the lymphatic vessel that will then uh, be able to move it all the way to the lymphatic nodes. So 
we're just scooping it all the way here and then gently pushing it towards the lymphatic node. And we do it again. Now we are taking our hand and we are uh, pushing it from the top of our thigh all the way down. We're doing it along our leg and then push it to the lymph nodes again. Now we're moving to the top of our thigh and with a very strong motion here on the, on the edge, on, on this edge you can feel the bone here starting. We are pushing all the way towards the lymph nodes. Again, I'm quite strong in that motion. <laughs> My thigh can never do with enough strength for the massage. Uh, it also helps with cellulite. Then we're moving to the inner side of our thigh and we're pushing it all the way to the lymph nodes again. It's actually quite a workout. I can feel it in my arms already. I like to do something like this as well. Push down and towards the vessel. I mean towards the lymph nodes. So if we can just imagine there's like a pipe here, everything has to go towards that pipe. I like to do a motion like this and to the node, from around to the node, from around to the node, from around to the node. Ow, my arm! One thing I've noticed that helped me was to deal with the area around the knee. So I just grab it um, around the knee and push it upwards, being careful of course not to damage your knee. Here above the knee also it's a funny area, so I focus my attention on these bits here too, just moving it all the way towards the lymph vessel and then the lymph node here. Then once we are done with these two parts we can combine it. Here is our pipe that we have to just push all of it. A lot of these motions you can do on both legs like this. Just probably make sure nobody is in the room with you because they will think you're a bit crazy. So yes that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm personally very pleased with this massage. I think it's great for before holidays or before some big event and please remember if you continue to do this massage not just for seven days but for a longer period of time the results will be even greater. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye!